St. Lucia joined the global community in observing World Elder Abuse Awareness Day, held annually on the 15th of June. Elder abuse, according to the United Nations, can be defined as a single or repeated act or lack of appropriate action occurring within any relationship where there is an expectation of trust which causes harm or distress to an older person. It is a global issue affecting the health and human rights of millions of older persons the world over and an issue that requires the urgent attention of the international community. District Medical Officer for Grosile, Dr. Diane Ferdinand Walcott, during a sit-down interview provided insight into her experiences with elder abuse. She explained the situations and challenges that may result in elder abuse. Not every person has someone to take care of them. Uh, not all the elderly persons have people who are willing to care for them. And so they have a challenge with meeting their basic needs. Um, some of them I speak to, all of their children are overseas. And so if they get into an accident or minor injury, it becomes a major thing um, when they are not able to seek medical assistance in a timely fashion. Um, another thing with neglect, um, we can see, or even emotional abuse, even the children that take on the elderly parents, sometimes you find that they limit their activities. It's almost like they start treating the parents as, as if they were children. And I'm talking about people with their sound mind and people who are able to make decisions. They may not be physically up to par, what they used to be, but their mental capacity is appropriate and they are legally able to make decisions, whether it be financial or decisions concerning their friends, their social interactions. And to limit these persons to a locked room or saying your friends cannot call you or any of these, um, any of these uh, things that the, the, the children or friends may do, um, the caretaker may impose upon them would be detrimental to the patient's psychological and, and emotional health. The United Nations this year is observing World Elder Abuse Awareness Day, another theme, Access to Justice. This theme serves as a reminder of the importance to fully address the needs of older persons who may seek recourse. The UN noted that the COVID-19 pandemic has shed light on reports of abuse and neglect of older persons, particularly in long-term care institutions and the community. St. Lucia this year is commemorating the day under the theme Building Strong Support for the Elderly. Dr. Ferdinand Walcott highlighted a number of initiatives that can be undertaken to address the issue of elder abuse. I believe that as an official caretaker, you have to be trained specifically with working with the elderly. Um, the elderly, they need to be listened to just as you would like to be listened to. It doesn't mean that their voice is diminished. It may be softer, but it should, it's, it's just as independent as when they were of their working years. Um, I believe that, um, that they need to be listened to. They need to be appreciated. They need to be shown the respect that they deserve. And if it comes to the point where the caretaker feels that they are not able to manage, it's fine, it's okay. Everybody goes through it. Um, especially if you have an elderly person who's holding on to the independence and you're seeing that they're not able to make the decisions that they, they need to make. Or you find another family member is maybe asking them for money or abusing them in that way. You have to... You may have to come in and speak with the person, maybe seek help, seek help from a medical professional or the law, as the case may be. World Elder Abuse Awareness Day was officially recognized by the United Nations General Assembly in its resolution 66127 in December 2011, following a request by the International Network for the Prevention of Elder Abuse, who first established the commemoration in June 2006. It represents the one day in the year when the whole world voices its opposition to the abuse and suffering inflicted to some of our older generations.